If you want to achieve a good paint finish or you've got a critical light area such as a long wall, skim coating is a good way to get a great result. Skim coating is something that's normally undertaken by a skilled tradesperson, but if you think you can do the job, here are a few tips to help you on your way. To get started, you're going to need a plasterer's trowel and some Jib Plus 4, but before we get started today, we're going to put down a drop cloth to protect the floor. If you've stripped off old wallpaper and you feel the linings are good enough, just give them a light sand before applying your skim coating. In this case though, this is the brand new wall. We've put up new jib plasterboard linings, taped and stopped the joints and installed the finishing lines and coving. Apply the skim coat in a very thin layer, about a half a mil thick, working horizontally across the wall. Jib Plus 4 does not go off too quickly, so take the time and get the job right. Well that's me just about finished. All I've got to do from here is wait for the stopping to dry, give it a light sand and prepare for painting. The plaster on my skim coat is now dry, which means I'm ready to sand and here are the tools I'm going to need. Some 220 grit sandpaper or finer and a hand block to get around the doors or windows and into any corners. I also need some safety gear, a dust mask and some goggles. As you can see, this is a pretty dusty job. That's why you need to go over the wall with a brush or a broom to remove any excess and then clean it up with a vacuum cleaner before painting. The final stage of preparation is applying a sealer coat. Here I'm working in a bedroom, but if I was working in a bathroom or perhaps a laundry, I'd use a pigmented sealer to provide maximum water protection. Now all I have to do is choose the colour of my top coat and the job's done. <laughs> 